This video is brought to you from viewers like you. Oh crap, that was dubious, wasn't it? Hi everyone, Brianna here, your science expert, bringing you down whatever science rabbit hole I happen to be in at the time, and always here to answer your science questions. So today's video is based on a question I got off of my Instagram channel, and that question is, how do you gold plate something? So for those of you who may be unfamiliar with what gold plating is in the first place, if you go out and you buy a piece of jewelry or a watch and it's gold, there is a good chance that it's not going to be 100% gold, especially if you're talking about a watch. Because making something 100% gold would make it really, really expensive and would sometimes also make it not the most functionable because gold is kind of a soft metal. It's not super durable for building and making something solidly out of. So instead of making a piece of jewelry or a watch out of solid gold, they do something called gold plating, which is where they apply a very thin layer of gold on top of another metal. They even do this for pieces in electronics, like circuit boards, because gold is very conductive and non-corrosive, so it helps protect those parts. But now that we know what it is, how on earth do you do that? Gold plating is achieved through a process called electroplating, which falls under the subset of chemistry called electrochemistry. That's right, boys and girls, gold plating is all chemistry. It's always, it's almost always all chemistry. Everything just comes back to chemistry. Why not? So <laughs> electrochemistry is the study of how electrons move back and forth between different situations. And the movement of electrons is called electricity. So yes, it does involve a little bit of electricity. So let's start from the top. To gold plate something, you take your object that you wish to gold plate, and you have to clean it first. Clean it, dry it off, make sure it's all nice and shiny, and then you place it on a metal bar called a cathode, which happens to be negatively charged, remember that. And that cathode with the object attached to it goes into a solution that contains ions or charged atoms of gold. Or if you're trying to plate with something else, because you can plate with other metals, it'll contain ions of that other metal. So this cathode, like I mentioned, is negatively charged. And the cathode is kind of like a really bad friend or a really bad influence. Everything around it also kind of takes on a negative charge and is all doom and gloomy. So now we've got our metal object that has been negatively influenced and negatively charged in a solution full of gold ions. Then an electric charge is applied to the whole situation and when an electric charge is applied, all of the electrons start to move around between the metal object and between all of the charged particles of gold that we have in that solution. And that's when the little ion dance party starts. All right, so our negatively charged bad boy object to be gold plated has hit the club with one objective, pick up as much gold as he can. Luckily for him, opposites attract. I don't know if this is great dating advice, but it's great science advice. And gold ions are positively charged. Of course, gold would be so positively charged. So metal ions, such as that gold that we want attached to our object, start to move towards that negatively charged object, attracted by the opposite charge and his negative bad boy energy. So therefore, gold is deposited onto the object and covers it in a thin layer of gold. Over time, the gold plating or any other metal you use to plate an object will wear off just from normal wear and tear. That's completely normal, it has nothing to do with anything you did wrong, and the process can be repeated again to add another thin layer of gold or another metal to your object. And in this way, again, we can have an object that looks like gold, we can have a nice gold watch without it having to be made out of solid gold, which would be functionally not helpful and very expensive, and then you'd probably get robbed for just daring to know what time it was, so. And just a little fun aside, one time I actually did get to do electroplating in one of my chemistry labs in college, and we ended up getting more like gold plated onto our object than the amount of gold we started with, which is scientifically impossible. All of our instructors were like, what on earth? I'm sure we just weighed something wrong. Because, you know, if I could create semi-precious or precious metals out of thin air, I would not be sitting here talking to you. Let's be real, guys. I would be off jetting around the country if I, world, if I could make gold out of thin air. I am not Rumpelstiltskin, unfortunately. Well, I guess he didn't make gold out of thin air. He made gold out of straw. I don't know if that'd be harder or easier. 
deep in your animal thoughts. And then very quickly here at the end, unrelated to gold plating, but somebody else asked me on my Instagram um, for an overview of the math that I found very inspiring. And I answered this question on my Instagram, but I'll answer it again here. For one, I am so not a math person. I successfully figured out how to take enough math in high school to where like I haven't taken math since high school except for like any tiny bits of math I had to do within my science classes because I'm good at math but it just is not my thing. So I'm very impressed that people can do math. I'm very impressed and inspired by the fact that math exists and people have figured it out to describe what's going on around us and that it actually works out. I don't know. I don't understand quite how there's like truths in the universe and we're using math to figure them out. And I am so blown away and inspired by the people who can do that. So that answers that question. And with that, I will close this out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram, uh, check me out on my Buy Me A Coffee page if you want to support this channel further. And as always, keep it sciencey! Because gold is very... And then an electric charge is applied, and this turns the whole situation into a little electron dance party. Because we need some EDM, some electron dance and music. That was really bad. <laughs>